Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Unit 6 of Romans and Galatians. Sorry about the grainy light. I'm actually coming to you from my hotel room in Orlando, Florida, where this week I'm attending the Church of God General Assembly for ordained ministers. However, I'll be checking in every morning and evening to make sure you're on track, resourced in every way, to continue to do well in the class. By the way, if you've made it to Unit 6 and are doing well on your scores, um, chances are you're going to do very, very well in the class. Uh, this class I've taught it several times, and um, it's uh, kind of a contradiction in terms in that it's the most difficult class that I teach. It's a 400-level class. I didn't write it, uh, and there's just a ton of work, ton of reading, ton of writing. However, for students who simply do the work, there tend to be a lot of A's in this class. So I know that sounds like a contradiction in terms, but if you have an A thus far, it's very, very likely you're going to finish with an A. Um, simply because the nature of these assignments is you either kind of nail them or you don't. There's not a ton of gray area, and of course I'm here to try to help you to nail them in every way. Uh, before we talk about Unit 6, let me look ahead for just a moment to uh, the final assignments of the class. The most important one, of course, is the research paper. Now, in past manifestations of the class, one of the assignments um, in Unit 7 has been to turn into me your rough draft. Uh, unfortunately, that assignment is no longer in the mix in the class, and I say unfortunately simply because it allowed me the opportunity to give feedback to each student on where to beef up, what needs to be changed, any problems that need to be eliminated so that students could make the best grade possible on the paper. So let me make you this offer it is, if it is helpful to any of you. If, if you want to give me a rough draft of your final research paper, during either Unit 6, this unit, or Unit 7. I would be more than happy to read it carefully and to get back to you with any feedback or, or marks on improving it for your final grade. Now, if you turn it into me during Unit 8, I just can't guarantee that I will have time uh, to really, you know, it takes some time. I don't know that I would have time to look it over and get back to you in time for you to then make changes. But I can guarantee in the next two weeks you get me a draft and I'll get you some feedback. Again, no pressure. That's only if you feel like that would be helpful to you, and I'm sure I'll have a few students who want to take me up on that. Also, um, let me mention the homily that is due in Unit 8. Uh, don't freak out about this. This is essentially an um, um, a reformatting of your paper and the research you've done for your paper uh, for an oral presentation to a class or a congregation. So don't think that you're going to go have to do a bunch of extra research on a different passage, a different subject. No, no, not at all. Just take, it's, it's not reading your paper, certainly, but it is taking some of the same body of work that you've done and uh, either shooting a video or audio of yourself in front of a live audience or as if you were in front of a live audience giving that presentation. So um, don't stress out about it. Have fun with it. Uh, it's essentially pass fail. If you do it and follow the guidelines, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get the, the, a perfect grade on that. So I'm I'm just looking for execution on that. Um, the real bulk of what you're going to be doing outside of your reading and your posting the next three weeks is completely connected to the research paper. Okay, but lest I forget, let me also um, encourage you to make sure you follow the guidelines of length requirement and research sources in your research paper. Uh, this is not a paper in which you read your text and share your own devotional thoughts about it. This paper is a presentation of research. And if you're having a hard time really capturing great sources, I want to encourage you to use the ATLA database. You have access to it through your Lee University Library account. It's a wonderful tool that you can use online to get academically rigorous journal articles that you can search for according to your passage. And if you need any help with any of that, just let me know. Um, I want you to stay away from websites, Wikipedia. I want you to stay away from stuff like Matthew Henry Commentary. It's fine stuff. It's just over a century old. And none of that is really um, a part of the current scholarly conversation. And at a, at, as a 400-level class, 
I have a passion to engage you in that current conversation because you can do it. You've made it this far because you can engage scholarly material as you are seeing in your digestion of Fee, Wright, Great House, D.A. Carson, all the different materials we've been looking at during the class. So that, that's a big mouthful on those final assignments, but I just want to make sure you're armed with all of the knowledge you need to do well. Okay, finally, on to Unit 6. This unit, uh, we're going to be diving into um, one of the more controversial components of Romans, and that is this uh, language that Paul uses regarding the sinful nature in Romans chapter 7 and all the different options for characterizing who is a part of this struggle that Paul is describing. It, is he talking about himself? If so, is he talking to, about himself prior to his vision of Jesus on the road to Damascus? Or is it a, a present experience Paul is having with the sinful nature? Or is there something completely different going on here? Is Paul talking about Israel rather than himself? Just lots of different options. And these questions are open questions in New Testament studies, which is why it's such an exciting time to be engaged in Pauline studies. So I'll look forward to um, being in dialogue with you on the posts about the reading this week. Again, I'm here to serve you. Feel free to uh, email me at jrice at leeuniversity.edu. If we need to set up a phone conversation after that, we certainly can. Um, I will be grading your work from the previous unit uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, getting back to you individually with my comments. So everybody have a great week. God bless.